I built this family on loyalty. In my high school career at a school called Norco High School, about an hour from the uh, University of Southern California. Um, after winning back-to-back CIF championships, I had the opportunity to go to USC and, uh, and play football for the Trojans. First and foremost, he secures the ball, and there you see the helmet just flying off. Just like any kid from Southern California, I took the opportunity and I started my college career at USC. I played at USC for three years, winning back-to-back Rose Bowl championships and uh, the third bowl game. After that bowl game, I found out that uh, that my whole coaching staff was going to go to the NFL and pursue uh, pursue their dreams in the NFL. Yeah. Since that happened, NCAA allowed players to transfer schools. And after living a crazy life at USC, had uh, good times, partying, winning, and uh, pretty much living the dream, I decided to take my uh, talents elsewhere and signed to the University of Louisville with Coach Strong, who recently got there from the University of Florida, where he won consecutive bowl games and championships, kind of similar program to USC. So I thought I'd fit in, I'd really fit in good there. As I was at Louisville, I had to sit out my first year there. And while I was sitting out, uh, my grandmother got sick. Felt that my family needed me to be home more than I needed to be at Louisville. So the spring of 2011, I stayed back home in Norco, um, training at some of the top facilities in Southern California. And at that time, it was the NFL lockout, so a lot of my boys were back home training at the high school and at the local facilities. So I was able to train with some of the top athletes going into that year's draft. And uh, while that was going on, I chose to go to a, a small D2 school in New Mexico, located in Las Vegas, New Mexico. And they're the worst Division II school in the country. And uh, before I commit, before I committed to the University of New Mexico Highlands. Um, everyone told me not to go there. It was the worst school in the country. No one has ever won there, and it was impossible. There's no way you could win at New Mexico Highlands. So I continued to train, reported to camp in uh, late August, got on the field with my new, my new team. Everything was going great. We were 4-0. We were shocking the world. We were top 25 in the country, first time in a decade. We ended up uh, losing all three of our quarterbacks. And uh, the season went downhill. We ended up finishing four and seven. However, the season was horrible. I ended up finishing with All American honors, and um, had a great season. And I was back on everybody's board. I decided to come back for my senior year. I was able to recruit all types of my buddies and friends from all over SoCal and uh, other Division One schools to come here and play for New Mexico Highlands in the 2012 season. I'ma spend on my brand like. 